Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about the health benefits of avocado. Give us a like on this video and share it with your friends. Say hello in the comments and type in hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay. So over to you, Ronald. She said it real quick, didn't you? <laughs> avocado. Yes. No, it's avocado. Now, I've seen all kinds of weird spellings in about three or four countries or more. The actual spelling is A-V-O-C-A-D-O, -O, avocado. Now, I believe the avocado originates from Mexico or Peru in that, in that general area. And from there, it's spread to many countries. Um, in an, and, but in particular, it grows very well in Queensland, in Australia, and Western Australia. It also grows very well in New South Wales, in the northern part of New South Wales. It is a, avocado is actually a subtropical fruit, right? It doesn't like cold weather, right? It doesn't go very well in warm weather. Although, I have seen a 12-year-old avocado tree in a friend of ours who used to live in Brixton. The wife tossed the avocado seed in the backyard. Brixton in London, in, UK. In Brixton, London, UK. And it tossed the avocado and it grew. And it grew to 12 feet tall, right? The sad part is when they sold the house, the new people that bought the house cut the tree down because they didn't know what it was. Can you believe that? It was on the verge of producing avocados. Now, what is so brilliant about avocado? It is one of my favorite fruits. So is Petrinus. Why? If you look carefully, now, how you peel an avocado, by the way, there's a trick to it. You get a very sharp knife. And you get it there at the top and you cut it down the middle and you 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 basically cut it the half you get it so you cut like that all the way through to here and then you peel it off and then inside there'll be a seed okay you get a knife and you you be careful you just hit the seed with that and then you pull the seed out so then you have two halves okay and then you get a spoon and you scoop it out now what are the benefits nutritionally number one is a very high unsaturated fat content. And I do mean unsaturated, not like margarine or cow's butter. Okay. It's, it's also known as nature's butter. That's right, exactly right. So it is it is known as nature's butter. And so it is very high unsaturated fat. It is very, very good for your liver, for your kidneys, for your heart because your heart does need a bit of unsaturated fat to beat better. It's also very good for the brain function. Every time I eat an avocado, the next day my brain is functioning on both levels, logical and analytical, and imagination. Now, it is also a very high level of carbohydrate. Now, one avocado like that will also give you potassium, manganese, right, calcium, and a whole host of minerals. For example, if you grow it, say, in silica-rich soil with sand, it will give you silica, which will be excellent for your bones and your ligaments and your muscle structure, okay? Now, I try to eat an avocado at least once a day. Now, yesterday, I picked that one up for 69 pence at Aldi, okay? But I also buy, sometimes I buy the spread, but the spread's quite expensive. The spread in the, in the tub is about 69 Sorry, 60, not 69 pence. Over 69 pence, about three pounds. It used to be like one pound, went to two pounds, and now three pounds. So sometimes if you get a good price like that at 69 pence, well worth it. So to summarize, you've got carbohydrates, you've got unsaturated fat, manganese, potassium, magnesium, calcium, whole host of minerals, right? And feed for the brain, it is one of the few fruits that can actually penetrate into the brain matter and create, there's quite a bit of fat in the brain here. And that fat in the avocado is excellent for removing symptoms of Alzheimer's, dementia, and so on and so on. Now, I'm going to give you a fantastic recipe. You can have that recipe at breakfast or lunch or with your dinner. So what you do, you cut the avocado in half scoop it out with a spoon put in a plate and smash it up right smash it up like a like a, like a butter smash it up and then what you add with it is the chop you chop one shallot fine 
one red onion, fine. Two chilies, two red chilies, or you can do chili flakes. One half a teaspoon sel de garonne, and then you add one tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil from Greece, Crete, Australia, or one of the well-known respected countries like Spain. Like Spain, okay. Now you smash it all up. That combination of avocado, extra virgin olive oil, apple cider vinegar, sel de garonne chili right and so on is brilliant for the digestion system for the digestive system it will absorb quite rapidly within one hour of eating that your energy level is going to go through the roof it's amazing how quickly that within one hour it actually bit. so if you're going to do weight lifting if you're going to do gardening heavy gardening all day eat the avocado the way i've just suggested and you will have energy for at least six to seven hours so we look forward to getting your feedback and good luck with getting a good, reasonable price avocado. We've also got lots of customers and friends from Africa and the Caribbean, and they actually know the avocado as the avocado pear. That's right. So j mm. just don't confuse it with a normal pear that we, we normally good eat point. In, Very uh, good point. in the UK. Very good point. I prefer to call it avocado because that's what it is. Right? But in a place like Jamaica, they call it a pear avocado pear it's got nothing to do with being a pear a pear is like a packham pear or a corolla pear that's a proper pear right an or avocado conference pear. or conference pear that you then you can see the shape is like like a like that you see? which is more right. juicy more juicy but this is this is and the pear is not fatty this has got the unsaturated fat there's a difference but believe me if you if you if you're a very busy person or if you're a very heavy labor intensive person one avocado with breakfast the way i've just described that will give you six to eight hours of solid energy that you can do your day with also not only that i would find it extremely valuable for memory right and at, at the age of mid 70s my memory is as sharp as it was 50 years ago because i eat avocado three to five times a week or more if i can get it by the right price i, I can take as much as six or seven times a week what? Okay, so, so I look, hope you like this video. Yeah. Please give us a like and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well if you haven't yeah. already. And tag your friends, share this wonderful news with your friends about the health benefits of avocado. And we will see you again next time. Yep. Till then, take, take care. care.